Here's today's with Jesus. I want to return this morning to the chapter we've been in for a number of weeks and pick up our reading here in, in, in chapter 11 of Luke's gospel. Luke chapter 11, listen to verse 33 starting. And Jesus says, no one after lighting a lamp puts it away in a cellar or under a basket, but on the lampstand so that those who enter may see the light. The eye is the lamp of your body. When your eye is clear, your whole body also is full of light. But when it's bad, your body also is full of darkness. Then watch out, the light in you is not darkness. If therefore your whole body is full of light with no dark part in it, it will be wholly illumined as when the lamp illumines you with its rays. Brethren, you'll remember from our reading last week that Jesus strongly condemned his generation, uh, describing them as those who, who sought for a sign but refused to believe. He, he brought up how the Queen of the South traveled a far distance to simply listen to Solomon to hear God's wisdom and and the people of Nineveh, when Jonah preached repentance, they repented, they listened. And now Jesus is here, the Son of God, right in their midst. And obviously, he's far greater than Solomon, far greater than Jonah. And they won't listen. They won't see. But why? You know, Jesus explains why people don't see the sign. Jesus, Jesus would die on the cross. He would die for the sins of the world. He'd resurrect on the third day for all to see. Why didn't they see? Well, why is it that, that people won't commit to Jesus even today? It's not because there's a lack of evidence. The problem is in us. You see, Jesus did perform miracles, um, and they weren't done in secret. And Jesus didn't die and subsequently resurrect from the dead in secret. So there's plenty of light. Jesus is the light. The light is shining. The problem is hearts. You know, oftentimes people can't see because the darkness on the inside is blocking the light of Jesus. And just as a bad eye will, will, will make a person blind, so too a bad heart will make one spiritually blind. The point, as these people did, attributing Jesus' miracles even to Satan, ignoring what was taking place right before their eyes. So here's the question. Is there something in our lives, something in our heart that, that we've allowed in that's blocking the light of Jesus, that's keeping you from truly grasping what our Lord has done for you, failing to grasp the magnitude of his resurrection uh, from the dead, the greatest of signs? Why don't we see? Brethren, let's be careful about what we let in. Let's be real careful about not letting God's uh, word in. We must spend time in the light of the gospel. We must allow it to penetrate our hearts. We must allow it, humility. We must allow it to change us, to transform us. And if it's not, we need to really examine the why. What is it in us that needs to change? Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, Father, for another day in your word, Father, we're so very thankful for the wisdom that we derive from it, Father, from the accounts that are provided for us by way of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, coming to this earth to die for us, Father. Help us to take these things in. Help these things to change us, Father. We're so thankful for you, for all that you do for us. Bless us this day. Give us opportunities to do good. In Jesus' name we pray.